know you don't like me. You wanna fight me. You don't want no problems at your party. Don't invite me. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So it's the new era. Um, new shirt. Forgot to take the sticker off. I'll do that in a little bit. Uh. It's a Dominic Mysterio shirt. So in this video, I'm going to be doing a uh, draft prediction. I had this whole original plan that I was gonna do, but then I realized there's so many superstars, and I don't feel like making all those cards for them. So I'm just going to read the names off the list that I made. So first, I'm gonna say like the brand, and then who I think is gonna be there. And then I'll explain why, like, storyline-wise. And then I'll do that for the next two brands after that. Because I also made one for NXT. Because I think a few people will be pushed to NXT. So, <clears throat> wow, ow. Yeah. This is just my opinion or prediction or whatever. So if you don't agree with it, please don't hate me. Also, the shirt is going to be featured in a new video coming up. So stay tuned for that. It's a haul. Anyways, before I get all, like worked up about that let's start this video which I have to film on this phone because I need to read off this phone so the first burn that we have is Smackdown and I'm gonna do the women's people first the women's wrestlers first you know what I'm saying okay <laughs> So, of course, we're going to have Bailey, Sasha, Naomi, Alexa, Nikki, Lacey, Billy Kay, Mickey James, Alicia Fox, Bianca Belair, Carmella, and the NXT call-ups, Vanessa Bourne and Chelsea Green, and Aaliyah. So that's all the women. Now let's get to the men. So I think the men that will be here will be The Fiend, Roman Reigns, Seth Rollins, Dominic Mysterio, Dominic, Rey Mysterio, Apollo Crews, Bobby Lashley, MVP, Cedric Alexander, Shelton Benjamin, Drew Gulak, R-Truth, Akira Tozawa, Big E, King Corbin, Robert Roode, Cesaro, Nakamura, Kalisto, Andrade, AJ Styles, Lars Sullivan, Jimmy Uso, Jay Uso, Bo Dallas, whatever Weasley is from the Forgotten Sons, and Raxon, the, the Forgotten Sons people, Angela Dawkins, Montez Ford, Humberto Carrillo, Buddy Murphy, Titus O'Neil, Trent Seven, Tyler Bate, Adam Cole, Kyle O'Reilly, Bobby Fish, Roderick Strong, and last but not least, uh, well, there's two. Robert Stone because of Aaliyah and Samoa Joe. Now let me explain why I think these predictions are going to take place. So I think Samoa Joe is going to be returning to the ring. Um, I think Aaliyah and Robert Stone will debut on SmackDown and then Carmella, Vanessa Bourne, and Chelsea Green, they're all going to be a stable of like classy girls or whatever. Not classy, but like, I don't know, divas, like diva era girls. Lacey, she just seems like she'd be better for SmackDown and stuff. And I don't think that Fox is going to give up The Fiend. So if The Fiend doesn't go, Alexa's going to stay. And I don't think Alexa's storyline is over with Nikki Cross. So I'm just going to keep that going. Let's also not forget about the new Wyatt family, who I think is going to be Bray Wyatt. Nikki Cross, Alexa Bliss, Bo Dallas, and Lars Sullivan. Bailey and Sasha, they belong on SmackDown. I mean, that whole title thing that they have going on is for SmackDown. Sasha's hair is built for that title. Uh, Bianca and her husband coming over, that makes sense. Naomi and her husband staying over, that makes sense because of Roman. And that whole, like, shield thing that's supposed to go down. The Seth Rollins storyline moving over to SmackDown makes sense. Uh, the Hurt business going to SmackDown makes sense. Um, Apollo would follow, but, like, go off and do his own thing eventually. But for now, that seems to go perfectly right there. And, yeah, that's my opinion for SmackDown. And, yeah. Oh, one thing I didn't talk about. NXT UK, they need some representation, so what better way to have a tag team come up since WWE is very lacking tag teams.
Okay, now we're going to go to Monday Night Raw, and we're going to start with their women's division. And, yeah, let's do it. So for Monday Night Raw's women's division, I think they're going to have Mandy Rose, Dana Brooke, Asuka, Peyton Royce, Tamina, Ruby Riot, Liv Morgan, Nia Jax, Shayna Baszler, Lana, Natalia, Santana Garrett, Casey Catanzaro, Candice LeRae, Tony Storm, Mia Yim, Mercedes Martinez, I don't know what their new names are in Retribution, but I'm just saying those names, Zelina Vega, the returning Ember Moon, and AJ Lee. And then for the men's division, I think they're going to have Velveteen Dream, Pete Dunne, Eric, Ivar, Aliester Black, Kevin Owens, Mojo Rowley, Elias, Daniel Bryan, Tucker, Otis, The Miz, John Morrison, Sami Zayn, Drew McIntyre, Randy Orton, Ricochet, Ali, Jeff Hardy, T-Bar, Slapjack, Dio Madden, I don't remember what his name is on Retribution either, Matt Riddle, Dolph Ziggler, Keith Lee, Sheamus, Grand Metalik, Lindsay Dorado, Shorty G, Braun Strowman, Johnny Gargano, Angel Garza, I forgot Kaden Carter in the women's division, oh my god, and CM Punk. So a lot of those names might have been surprising like AJ and CM Punk, but let me tell you I do think they're going to be the leaders of Retribution. I also think that uh, the other unmasked versions or whatever of the Retribution people are going to be, for the women we have AJ Lee, Mercedes Martinez, Mia Yim, Santana Garrett, and Ember Moon. I think those are going to be the five women from Etrib Retribution. Sorry, I can't talk. Um, for the men, we have Shane Thorne as Slapjack, Dominic Doskovich or whatever as Tivar, Dion Madden, CM Punk, and Mojo Rowley. And then I think Angel Garza is going to have his solo run after his injury. Um, we're obviously not done with this Drew McIntyre, Randy Orton storyline, so keep that out of Raw. Sami Zayn bringing the IC Championship over to Monday Night Raw would be good. And then him and Jeff can escape AJ, and then him and Jeff can have their own match and then move on from that. The women's tag division would be on Raw, since that's why all the women's tag teams are on Raw. And yeah, I'm just excited for what could be on Raw, like Candice LeRae and Johnny Gargano. If they lose their match at TakeOver, then they can like join the main roster and join Monday Night Raw. Again, NXT UK needing that representation, so Tony Storm and Pete Dunne being on the main roster would be good. And uh, since the 24-7 title would be moved over to SmackDown with R-Truth, uh, it gives more time for more fights in other places. And yeah, that's all that I'm going to say for that. Um, can't wait for the breakup of Lucha House Party, unless if Lindsay and Grand Match League do their own thing on Raw, because I put both of them on Raw. And yeah, can't wait for Otis to cash in on Randy Orton.
And then the last uh, group of people, I'm going to do NXT, and there's only four people that I think are going to NXT. And that one might be the most off-the-wall prediction, but we're just going to go with it. And this time we'll start with the men and do the women. So the two males that should go to NXT are Jinder Mahal and Riddick Moss. Those are the only two males. Maybe that doesn't sound too, like, big of a thing, but wait till you get to the females. So the two females are Sonya Deville and Charlotte Flair. You might be like, why would Charlotte go there? She's, like, the best woman, and she's, like, the most overhyped of the women's division, and she's, like, the face of the women's division. Well, she needs to give everybody on the main roster a chance, and her going away to NXT for a while, just NXT, would be better for them. And then all the matches that she could do in NXT would be cool, like her versus Io would be a good solo match, her versus Rhea, her versus Shotzi, her versus all of the new women that were in that battle royal. And yeah, well, I hope you like this prediction video. Um, I'll try to make more cards for like the end of this video so that way I can like stick a few of them in there. And yeah. Alright guys, thanks for watching this video, like, comment, subscribe, do all that, and bye. So now, baby, did you know you saved me?